22,000 Americans are dying every year overdosing on prescription painkillers. Now, the country's National Safety Council has launched a campaign over what it's calling the worst drug crisis in American history. Every one of those little pills represent a person that we lost. And I want to tell you about my son. Got addicted at the age of 18. Somebody prescribed him a medication. None of us knew the consequences. I lost my son Louie at age 24. He started with pain medication. I thought because a doctor prescribed them that the doctor knew what he was doing. I never actually thought about my addiction too much. Now it's really making me see things more clear. This can happen to anyone. This can happen to you. Don't let it. In 64 out of 100 cases, misuse began with people using opioids that were not prescribed to them. That's linked to the fact that almost two-thirds of Americans don't know that sharing opioid medicine is illegal. A National Safety Council program manager, Tess Benham, believes the problem is now out of control. It was recently declared a public health emergency, and many organizations like the National Safety Council are taking action to find solutions and save lives. It's a multifaceted problem, which is why the National Safety Council developed our Stop Everyday Killers campaign. Opioid pain medications were involved in about a third of drug overdose deaths last year, and overprescribing is definitely a factor. And so we're taking measures like implementing opioid prescribing guidelines, educating our doctors and nurses, but most importantly, um, starting a campaign like this to educate the public about the risks. We have more, less than 5% of the world population, but we consume more than 80% of the world's supply of opioids, and so it's a huge problem here in the United States. Everybody has a role to play, including our government, to begin to implement solutions that are going to save lives and help us end this crisis.